Welcome back, 0K fans! This is Shadow 3 with another match, exhibition match between Google Frog and Professional on Ravaged. So, not much more to say about that. We've seen Ravaged so many times. It is a well, it's a StarCraft map, so yeah. If it if anyone's here who's played StarCraft 2, this map should be familiar. It's Zelnaga Caverns without the stuff, all the doodads around in the water areas. Anyway, sorry, car repair, I'm blasting, car repair in not the Twitch chat, in the Zero K chat, is going on about how, and really, if you want to chat, the people can see the Twitch chats that option, but anyway, car repair is going on about how I'm using they all the time, because I'm using they all the time, because that's who I, that's, it's, you know, I, I said the gender thing before, although an alternative, not sure if people would prefer this, an alternative would be to adopt the way that apparently is done in Go, which is to refer to one player as he and the other player as she. Be referring to like red as he and blue as she all the time, regardless of their actual physical sex, just to differentiate. I don't know if that's better. I don't know if people would prefer that, but it's an idea. Anyway, so let's get started. Professional starting out in the southwest side of the map with light vehicles, and okay, going for a fairly even start. A couple mexes, a couple solar collectors. And then more mechs that are fairly healthy. Google Frog going for gunship blast wing rush right off the bat. They don't even want to do anything too long term. They just want to win with a blast wing rush. Gonna go around here and then gonna go around like this and then gonna go around like this and then gonna blow up everything that Professional has. Which Professional, they are in a pretty good spot here for setting up defenses if they figure it out, but they're probably not going to. They're not gonna guess this. That's the thing with the blast wing rush on Ravaged. It is really hard to read out. Like, it is a blind read and. Professional does have a bit of time though, because it's gonna be, it's gonna be about 15 seconds or so. The darts, once they get in, will be able to see this. If they get in, they'll lose. They need to attack now, and actually, it's a little even now is a little late. So this south side is forfeit. Google Frog probably won't be able to kill the light vehicle factory though, but they will definitely be able to kill off the south side completely. And these darts not moving in, so Professional has no info on what Google Frog is doing until basically it happens, which is going to be now. Or very close to now. Yep, and there they go, a blasting rush along all sides. So yeah, all the metal extractors, actually, no. One metal extractor goes down, that was not the most powerful blasting rush could have been. Mild annoyance, but Professional not actually too hindered. Google Frog still slightly ahead. That does help, and the darts move in to figure out what's going on now. Crane's coming up and Rapier on top of that. So Google Frog going for a bit more like longer term harassment after that blast wing rush and a bit of territory control. Now by the time the Rapiers come in, these metal extractors will lightly be repaired. But not necessarily. They might not necessarily be repaired. However, the Rapiers are known. So Professional can respond to that. They can build up defenders. They can just generally keep their air defenses around the map. They will know what to do. Now Professional trying to exert some pressure. Just keep I mean, the Darts didn't do too much. There is a Scorcher coming in. That won't be able to do much either. The Defender will be able to take it out in time. Scorchers don't ha Actually, no, it won't. But between the Defender and Google Frog's Commander, it won't be a problem. And the Rapiers as well. Crane, however, going down south. Google Frog very quickly going to the southeast, relying on Professional not guessing that this is going to be here because Professional can't really know. Well-placed radar along... Actually, never mind. No, well-placed radar would have to be like here in order to see this expansion, or down here. So basically, Professional has no idea what's going on here, and more Blast Wings are coming in! Looks like a second Blast Wing attack. This is a repeat of what Google Frog and Aquanim did in, I believe it was the finals of the 2v2 tournament. That was Aquanim that was sending it out, but Google Frog was kind of telling him what to do. And that worked out really well, and the thing is, these have not really been repaired. The Metal Extractors are self-repairing, like everything is doing its auto-repair, but the second round of Blast Wings should be able to tear apart a couple Metal Extractors and a couple Solid Panels. And Crasher up as well, just, just to help out with the Rapier. Scorcher, however, not able to do too much, just given the fact that it can't really get in. There's not much to raid. Google Frog is being very insular, or expanding over in areas that can't be easily spotted. So Google Frog being fairly defensive, Professional on the other hand being quite aggressive, taking the center quickly, taking their side quickly, and honestly this is a bit... It's kind of hard to hold, because the thing is... Oh, Professional saves that Blast Wing Rush, although... Or Blast Wing Second Attack. That was only a couple Blast Wings. Not the biggest attack. Banshee, however, coming in. Will be able to get rid of the Crasher in time. The Crasher goes down, the Scorcher 
will have a bit of a chance, but not much. Won't be able to deal enough damage. And the Banshee moves back for repairs, as did the Rapier. So right now, Google Frog has very little map presence. Professional kind of has this area, but doesn't really have any other pressure. They might go for this northwest section, and if they follow to a logical conclusion, they might double check the southeast section to figure out that Google Frog is there. And Google Frog setting up radar, not not wanting to be in the dark here, and Google Frog actually going to double check. Yeah, their radar now is able to see everything in the southwest, and they know where Professional is set up, and they don't know about this necessarily. They probably do, if I double check, oops. yeah, they know about the expansion. This, this metal extractor, the one here, not so much, but the rest of it, yes. And another crasher's in place. A professional is slowly but surely getting at the anti-air needed, and no... Sorry, this is about the point that a ground switch would normally happen. Google Frog, instead, though, going for gnats. Which is interesting, but not particularly useful. I think Google Frog is actually handicapping themselves. I think they realize the LO difference and are not playing optimally. And yeah, I apologize. I mean, I know the game choice is a lot. Like, honestly, if you have good games you want me to cast, please let me know because otherwise all I can do is look through the replays and try to find ones with LO values that are relatively close to each other and like, set, well, relatively high. I will do lower LO games if I want to do like tutorial type thing. If I want to really go over for new players, hey, this is a thing you're doing wrong. This is how you should do better. But I mean, high level games are the ones that people tend to want to watch more often. It's just that it's hard to find because you can't filter by LO in the search. And maybe that's something that should be written in. But yeah, I apologize. If there are games you really want to see, please let me know. I try my best to figure out good games, but I don't want to spoil them for myself in advance. Anyway. Anyway, Google Frog now pushing in. Seeming to take it a bit more seriously. And still, though, Google Frog does have... Despite not taking it super seriously, Google Frog still has a great position. And the entire east side of the map is Google Frog's. This area here as well. And, of course, their north side on top of that. And they haven't even taken the north side yet. I mean, Professional's exerting a bit of pressure over the north side, but not very much. Their their influence basically ends here. Like, not even, actually, even here, this these metal extractors are dead. There's not much that Google Frog has to really worry about if they want to kill them. Professional's basically lost that. No real influence, nothing to hold any pressure on that. There's, they're handy, though, for now. I mean, they are giving Professional some extra resources, but they aren't actually helping out all that much. I think I speed up the game slightly too, because it Yeah, I realize it may not be the most entertaining game, so might as well just get it through faster. Google Frog, however, is retreating, does not want to lose any units, which is a little surprising. And there's the ground switch. Six and a half minutes, or nearly seven minutes in, there is finally the ground switch. And Professional does finally figure out what's going on to this east side somewhat. But, I mean, Google Frog has taken Professional's... This is Professional's expansion. Google Frog's taken it. I mean, Google Frog has that much control over the game. Getting a Brawler up as well, just in case any contention is there for the control. Because that Brawler going around the side, going around just the lowland section. So it's very difficult to spot. And, I mean, it should be spotted now, I think. Professional... No, not even. Professional's radar does not extend far enough. So that Brawler is not known about. It will be coming around here to the Southern Expansion, but still not really much can be done about that. And Glaive's coming in as well, just to get rid of the Crashers. And Slashes here as well will also go down. Google Frog actually avoided them completely. At the same time, the Brawler taking out the Southern Expansion, taking out the defenses there, so leaving it open for the Glaives. And Nats and Banshees getting rid of the Commander and getting rid of this Northwest Expansion. Professional never even goes to the Southeast. And Google Frog now just going for the win. That is... I mean, okay, the Glaive's going down, but really the Brawler taking on the Metal Extractors. Focusing as well on the Power Plants, which at this point... Okay, there we go. Yeah, there isn't much to be done here. Although the Crashers are not in a bad spot, but still the Brawler able to get rid of them. Needs to go back to repair them. In fact, the Brawler is going to die here. Yep, there it goes. Does not get rid of the last Crasher. Loses focus on it and ultimately does not make it through. Still, Professional going for one last stand, trying to push into Google Frog's base, but not much can be done here. Zeus and Glaive coming in here. There's... Actually, Zeus is going to have a harder time than Glaive's, honestly. Like the Zeus... Yeah, there we go. The Scorchers take it off very quickly with the Glaive's. Sorry to get the Scorchers and, of course, the air units are still in play, so... The Scorchers get down quickly enough and there we go. That's... Professional throws in the towel. That was game. Yeah, sorry. That was a bit of a unbalanced game. More unbalanced than I realized. So, 
Sorry about that. But the next game actually might also be. Hmm. Actually, the next game might be worse. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for a different game. Okay. So anyway, I'll be back with another game. Not sure who it's gonna be with, because I just realized I should probably get a different replay than I was originally gonna go for. So stay tuned for that. I'll have it in a couple minutes.